So next thing we're going to discuss now is the case and design tab, uh, which starts with the casing program. This is where we define what tubulars and connections um, we're going to use in the software. So we come across the case and design, we've got case and program. At the minute we have nothing built. So I come down in the bottom right hand corner, I click add string and I get an option of string name and string type. So most wells we probably will start with some sort of conductor or um, either case or drive pipe. Let's use drive pipe in this instance. I click OK. It adds in the string here. Now what I need to do is then just go through and click on each drop down menu to select what sort of pipe I want to add. So if say we start with OD of a 36 inch um, drive pipe, select the weight, maybe this 555, 552, whatever we want. Wall thickness will be selected based on the previous two criteria. We can then come here and select our grade. We've got a bunch of API grades. Then we have all the Tenaris grades and the Sumitomo grades, and then any grades that are user defined. Any user defined grades are carried over to the next person who opens the file. So the connections and the grades and anything that you create in a file is then passed over to your colleagues when they need to use it. If there's any sort of conflict between grades, let's say there's two grades with the same name or the same properties, the program will notify you and ask you which one you want to keep. Next, we'll have to select our connection. Um, I think I think it's about a quarter of a million connections that we have in the program at the moment. And for this specific, specific scenario, we do not have a connection. So you will have to build a connection, which I'll do quickly in the next video. And then you would select your top and your bottom MD and then this is drive pipe, so we don't need to select the top of cement, but if we did, we'd select the top of cement and we select our hole size. Then we can select the fluid type, but for this drive pipe, there's not going to be any fluid. So what we can do is we can add a new string, let's say a surface casing. I'm going to make this 20 inch, uh, let's say 156 pounds, and then we're going to say, just randomly picking things here, P110, and then we actually have a couple of Tenaris, Tenaris connections here, so we might as well select this, this connection here. We're going to say top of cement is that mud line here. Hole size, if I've got a 20 inch OD, okay, 26 inch hole size, I'm happy with that. And then we can select um, the fluid type. If the fluid isn't here, we can build the fluid using um, this tab up here. Actually, a quick explanation of what these buttons do. This button here is a tubular. This button here is add grade. This button is add connection. This one is completion equipment, but we don't have a tube and string in place at the minute. So there's no um, need to have this highlighted. Once we add a tube and string, we will be able to highlight it. And then this one is to add fluid. As discussed um, in a previous little video, the introduction, the tubular type, we can select either API. So then the program will use API equations to calculate um, tubular and connection strengths, or we might just have some sort of proprietary connection. Popular proprietary connections at the moment are these, for deep water wells, are these 90% remain in body wall, which is, um, instead of using the 12.5% manufacturing tolerance, we use a 10% manufacturing tolerance, which changes the equation that we use to calculate strength. And so we can select this here and choose whether it's API or proprietary. Let's say I wanted to take the surface case and I wanted to split it so that was two sections. I can right click over here, split set section at depth, and the program will sort of guess where you want to split it. I'll put it in the ballpark. I'll just go with the default here, the 7415. I'll split, and you see now we have string number two, but we have two sections to this string. So I might decide that I don't need this 156 pounds per foot wall thickness for the remainder of the string. I might just use a 133, save a little bit of money, um, select a different connection, or maybe I want to change the grid, whatever the case may be. I will then just continue adding new strings. Maybe there's an intermediate case in here. I could then also add a liner, and um, the options that we actually have are conductor, surface casing, intermediate casing, drilling, drilling and production and production. These are quite similar down the bottom. The differences that we have are the, the default load cases that a user can select are different between drilling and production loads. So if you need to use both of them, you'll have a drilling and production string. Let's say we're going to go for an intermediate liner below this 20 inch casing. Um, 
the other options we do have are expandable liners and scab liners. But we'll just go for a liner here, click liner. And again, if I wanted to split the section at the depth, I could do this. Um, additionally, if I wanted to add a tie back from this liner, I can just click this button and add a tie back back to surface from that liner. If you come over to here and you right click, you get a lot of different options that you can use. This proprietary tubular information. Let's say we didn't want to use the API equations to calculate the, st the strength of the pipe. I can come here, I can either from this drop down menu here, select that as proprietary, but I've got this window open, so I can just select it here, proprietary. I can fill in this data, and maybe we do actually have a little bit more strength based on the pipe we have. I can change the figures here, so I'm going to go up to 5,500. Then I'd make a note, um, made changes, demo, etc. And then if I pass this file into a colleague or I come back to this file in six months' time, I can remind myself exactly what I was doing at the time. I'll add a final string here. I'm going to add in um, maybe it's a production tubing. I click OK. And then what this does now is it enables this packer button down in the right hand corner. So I would click the packer and then I could select what type of packer we have there. Is it free? Is it down limited? If it's down limited, what is the down limit? What slack off was it set at? Is it fixed? Was it activated mechanically, hydraulically or by hydrostatic pressure? Additionally, we can then come into here and input our packer operating envelope data. So I'd say use PoE data and then I'd put in my different points and um, pressure against force and it would plot over here on the right hand side. And then later on, when we look at the stress results and the design limit plots, we can look at the load cases on the packer and see if the packer is suitable. So I'm just going to cancel that there. Okay, so what I will do now is open up the file that we have been working on. I'm not going to save the changes to the current project. I'm going to open up um, revision one of the file. Revision one is slightly different from the initial file that was sent over. Um, just as I went through, I've made a few changes to a couple of things. I think it was a, a few of these um, tubular ratings, or maybe I selected this as proprietary to match the data sheet that was provided, and that's the only difference. What I should have done is I should have come back into the well um, definition, revision one, changes to proprietary um, connections, and I can save that across the case and design. Okay, um, I had just previously mentioned conflicts. So I click this button here. I built this file on a different computer to what I'm using right at this moment. So I have a grade conflict, um, slight mismatch on maximum yield strength based on what I already have in the database. So I'm using this Q125 as a project file, but on my database on this PC, I don't think it had max yield strength, which didn't come as default from the manufacturer. So I can add this to the database and I would have to change the name slightly um, because the program will not let you have two program um, two connections with the same name. So this will become Q125 HP. There's a slight gap. Um, if I wanted to give myself a note of why I'd done it, I think it was um, max yield strength was the difference, but I can come back and check that later. And what I like to do is just get the well built as quick as possible and go back and check to make sure everything is correct and um, look at data sheets comparing things there so i'll save that i no longer have this grade conflict i can close this the little red button disappears that was a grade conflict if you've got tubular conflicts or connection conflicts the process is the same so i'll end this video now so it's fairly short then we'll come back we'll add some tubulars grades connections um, maybe it's a fluid, something like that. And then I'll move on to the design basis and talk about tubular performance and connection performance.